services. Now with the road, today, when the port starts operation, these escorts that you are seeing on the road for public service vehicles and the trucks that will be on the road, I tell you today you can uh, freely move in this county. And that is what we are working for. So that you can come in and exit at your own time, including at night, because of the kind of deployment that we have done. You know, most of the time we see what you see police officers, but other than the police officers that you see on the road, there are very many others in uh, those uh, hotspots. We deploy very well, and I can tell you, when we talk about security, we are on top of things. And with the improvement in the infrastructure and people being engaged and those others, the, the, the security situation can only improve. It can never get worse than the way it is. So it's very good. Uh, and that's why we are looking forward to to going to the past corona age so that uh, post corona times so that we can be able to go back to where we are because tourists uh, fortunately even with that situation what is the tourism is still a major revenue earner for this uh, county was so if uh, there was uh, no cessation of movement and there was free movement internationally and flights were there we go where to where we were. Even today, as we are talking, Kenyans are still coming in big number in Lamu, tourism, to come and enjoy the, the scenes and the beaches and the waters and see what is there in Lamu. So, when we are done with Corona, we want to bring life in Lamu. Uh, with that development, <coughs> this country will no longer be imagined until we get still. We are also aware that there are other projects that are ongoing. We are doing a Baragoni to a modern high school in Baragoni area, which is also a president project. Uh, a school that is targeting, it's a security, we call it a security school because it is basically targeting children from the Baragoni area, those uh, insecure counties, you know, areas of this county. So that school, we already received the resources. We already received 10 million shillings, we are doing fencing, and uh, we already made a request for an addition of 26 million to start doing tuition work, addition work, so that the school can be operational by the start of the next school year. And uh, that one will also go to change the areas of Paragoni, those insecure areas of Bone Forest, by ensuring that our children, instead of them going for, to, to join those other groups, that be in the forest, at least they will be able to access education like any other children. That's also His Excellency's project, it is doing very well, and we uh, thank him for that, because even by having the school in Baragoni to open that area, soon we'll have power in that forest, there'll be water and others. So uh, other than the road and those other projects that we are doing, uh, uh, we are happy, they are populated, and the way we are going to transform this uh, country. The matters of land, land has increased dramatically in price. If you want to buy land in today, in this moment, there will be even more tomorrow and the day after. So we are working with that figure in that now. And we agree with the fishermen. They give us that list of those numbers by today. Then after that, we go and sit in some secluded place, make a report, present it to the forecourt that we are ready to do that. As I mentioned, we must spend that money by. 20th May. If we don't, to revert back to the Treasury and we want to go back to the Treasury, I'd look at that money again. Okay, maybe in terms of uh, um, the Treasury, so if we are planning to come, we can also come here and invest and own land and uh, other things because it has uh, that potential. Okay. Okay. We are aware that uh, this lab set is about Southern Sudan and Ethiopia. But I mentioned even in other East African countries, uh, this is the place to be and do business. Because the port is going to provide a huge opportunity. Uh, being, uh, I'm told by engineers that this is uh, the port where you can bring the biggest ship that you can have in the world. There is none that cannot dock here and avoid uh, the cargo. So this one uh, is, uh, may pose some, some threat to other ports, but we know, uh, compare, we, other than competition, we can only cooperate. So we are aware that Lamu Port, no, Mombasa Port is supporting us, because we are mentoring this port.